Hi, my name's Tracy, and that's my wife Ashley and our son Henry. And we're modern homesteaders. We live on three acres just off my grandparents' farm. Some people might think this lifestyle is crazy, but we wouldn't change it for a minute. Our landscape is constantly changing. Let's take a step back and let me show you how we got here. This is One Year on a Farm. It's my farm, yeah. This week on Farm Alarms, One Year on a Farm, we're in the carport greenhouse. We pull up some old broccoli plants to feed to the chickens. Ashley opens up a package from another YouTuber. I show you how we mix soil in a homemade soil tumbler made from an old clothes dryer. Henry waters the sheep and we make a really efficient burn barrel, plus some really awesome drone footage. Welcome to Farm Alarm. There's no need to waste any of these broccoli heads even though they are uh, quite small and they're not really growing anymore. But we're going to go ahead and harvest what we've got. The reason why I'm doing or banging these around like this is, uh, you see, if you was just to pull this out of here, um, you know, it might not be much, but you can see the difference in the dirt on these. And this is good soil. I do not want to get rid of it. I don't want to just throw that out to the chickens. So, by banging all that dirt off that root, it's pretty cool looking. Um, you know, you're going to be able to save all that dirt for the next go around. Some YouTube friends of ours, Whistle Thicket, had a giveaway to win some of their farm-raised honey, and we won the giveaway. <laughs> yeah. We got some pawpaw seeds, too. Hello, Farm Alarm. Very excited for your family to win the honey giveaway. I also included some pawpaw seeds that came from a tree that has been in my wife's family for five generations. Just read the pawpaw info to learn about this awesome fruit and how to store until spring. Thanks for the support, Whistle Thicket family. Thanks, Wiggle. Wiggle. <laughs> Thanks, Whistle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are we ready now? Okay. Thanks, Whistle Thicket. We're really going to enjoy this honey. Be sure to check them out, guys. Hey, a few months ago, we put together a, an old junkie dryer that the uh, heating element had burned out of it. I took it and I uh, took all the wiring out and just directly wired up to the motor. And we used this dryer to uh, mix the soil really good. If you do buy any kind of potting soil or, or compost mix, they usually have it really compressed. What I used to do is just, I would unbag it and just kind of shake it out. Well, 
It really works good to kind of throw it on its side. And you know, just like if you had a bag of ice and you're busting it up beforehand. And so pretty much you're unpacking that soil um, that's, that's really compressed. And now it's a lot more fluffier and you don't really have to deal with it um, you know, as you're unbagging it. So if you haven't seen this dryer before, this is actually what we mix all of our dirt in for the greenhouse. That consists of some Clydesdale uh, manure compost that we get from the Budweiser farm. Other organic matter such as peat moss. We also get some earth grow potting soil. So we mix some worm castings in with it as well. This peat moss works really good because it's uh, it's real porous and it allows a lot of water to soak into it. What we're going to be planting here in this row is uh, some Baker Creek heirloom seeds. And Cherokee purple are probably our most favorite here on our farm. Alright, so we've got everything planted here. Let's go ahead and uh, cover everything up and here in a couple of weeks we'll see uh, what we've got. I I'm assuming maybe in about a week we'll get everything uh, or we'll start to see some sprouts coming up. A lot of times people use a 55 gallon drum to burn materials in. The problem with a 55 gallon drum is that it only has one air intake source. Now DR, the people who are famous for the DR chipper, they came up with a burn cage. It's basically a stainless steel cage that has a bunch of holes in it. Instead of having the one air source up top, you're getting an airflow through all the sides. The only problem with this burn cage is it's over $300. So today we're going to take a 55 gallon drum and a plasma cutter and knock a bunch of holes in it and make our own.
Come to find out you don't get a YouTube play button until you get at least 100,000 subscribers. So I took the plasma cutter and made one myself.